So yesterday when I knew we had this meeting, I asked the team uh, to ask for one more hour of the room because I wanted to share with you this training. This is a training that we normally do in our teams in Colombia when we have too many people, too many new people enrolled to our teams and too many people, how do you say here in English, follow up? People in follow up. Yes, and so uh, when, we have, when we have done lots of presentations and we have many people in follow up, normally we used to gather all these people in a house or in a conference room and we do this. So this is not for you, this is for you to perform it afterwards. <laughs> because I already know, you know this information. I mean, I will not tell you how to perform the, the cycle of, of success. You already know it. This is the way we do it in order to close all the follow-ups. Because normally people, they like the business but they are afraid on how to do it. So normally if you show them how to do it, sure. exactly, the fear will go away. And they will, normally after this training, people pay, for sure. Lots of people pay because people like the business, but they like get blocked, like thinking how are they going to do it? How are they going to contact their friends, their family, how I, are they going to explain the business or the product or do the, make the call. So if you start showing them that their will is already created, that everything is planned and controlled, they will feel secure and they, they will be like, they will start. I mean, fear will go away when people uh, is fearless hundred dollars or two hundred or five hundred or thousand dollars are nothing uh, to them in order to start a business because I think we are clear that the problem is not the amount of money is that people need to scared because the model is new to them yeah. exactly. because if you compare the amount you have to invest here in order to start even with the highest package what kind of business do you build outside with this money? Not even a taco thing. <laughs> I always do this example in Colombia but with empanadas. You see, get a empanadas. For sure. So, um, the first step of the success cycle is to define your why. And normally, since we have different characters, we will have different type of why. And we should be respectful with the why of another person. Because if I'm here for money, maybe another person is here to socialize. And I have to respect that. And in order to grow <coughs> with the leaders, we need to start accepting the other people's why. And to be respectful with that. So I have encountered that uh, normally people, they have three types of why. And the first type of why is, um, porque de necesidad, we call it in Spanish, like need why. Uh, yeah. The necessity. necessity why, necessity. yes. So when I say necessity, necessity why, is not only necessity of money, it's also necessity of time. <coughs> There are, there is people that is so poor like me that we only had money and we have no time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was my why when I started that myself. I had money, I had money in my bank account, but I didn't even have time to do my nails. And that was sad. Because after work, I was always tired. I didn't want to, to go out, not even with my boyfriend or my family. I just wanted to rest. And I think that, that lifestyle is sad. But there is also people that are here because they have a huge debt. And they realize that using this model, they can pay that debt faster. 
or because maybe their income, their monthly income is not enough to cover the expenses. So they have necessity why? But there is another people that they have a dream why. And we should be respectful also with dreams. In my team, I have a girl from Venezuela. And you should be aware about the situation of Venezuelan people in Colombia. So normally people think that her why is a necessity why. But if you ask her what's her why, she will tell you my why is to travel to Turkey because I have always dreamed to go to Turkey. And I realized that with God myself, I can go to Turkey. <laughs> and you may think she's crazy. I mean, her mom is still in Venezuela. They have all these problems, and she's saying that her why is to go to Turkey. What is irresponsible? But that's her motivation. Royal Diamond Carlos Rueda, he shared with us that I don't know if you know their study. They they are the couple with the eight children. When they start in Garden Cell, they live in a very dangerous neighborhood in Medellin. They have lots of problems, economic problems. And his why was to buy a BMW motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> and he had the picture of the motorcycle as a font in the computer, in the cell phone, <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> And people used to say, I mean, he's irresponsible. How come that his why is to buy a... This bubble here. Yeah. <laughs> we have it. Yes. But the thing is that when you ask people to move or to act, if you talk to them in a language which is not their why language, they will not understand. Even if it's true, even if they are in a very difficult position, even if, if they have economic problems, if you start like pushing on them, look that you have this problem, you need money, you should move. If it's not his why, he will not move. But if you find the why, you will have like this key in order to lead people to do the things that you want to do. But they will also want to do it. So when Carlos realized that with Gunner Excel he could buy this BMW motorcycle, he started acting every day. Presentations, follow-up, events, blah, blah, blah. Of course, at the beginning, they solved all their economic problems, and then he bought the motorcycle. <laughs> he was responsible. But you should respect the dream why. There, there, there is people in your teams that they do not move because of economic need. But maybe they have a dream that they have already forgotten. And if you find that dream, you will start knowing how to lead that person in order to do the coffee breaks they want to want to go to an event that you want that people to go or that convention that convention that it is maybe in another city and you don't know how to do in order to this person wants to go you don't know how to people uh, start like uh, not having excuses to perform a copy break or something, find their why. And maybe it is a dream why. And the third type of why is an intangible, how do you say? Untangible why. And even if you don't believe it, this is the one that I have found the most. Intangible or untangible? Intangible. Intangible why. Normally people, they stay here, they do not excel because they like how they feel. They feel their family, they get, they get to know other people, they feel important, and then you talk to people and they say to you like, I've been working in this company for 30 years, but here I feel important, here I feel I have a role, here I'm recognized and every time I uh, get a new rank, 
I have all this event with a lot of people applauding to me and I got on stage and I have all this <laughs> and I've been and all this stuff and I like that because human beings will love being recognized. I have learned, I, have, I, I read on a book uh, called uh, Como Ganar Amigos e Influir Sobre Las Personas in English. How to Friends and Influence. Yeah, Dale Carnegie. And he said that Sigmund Freud, Sigmund Freud uh, wrote that the recognizing me of people is as important as eat and sleep. Wow. So a person that goes through life without being recognized for 10 years can be compared to a person that goes through life without eating or sleeping. It's a main need. So all uh, network marketing company do or that itself does with the compensation plan or the event of awarding people, it's well thought in order to fulfill the need that all the human beings have of recognition. So this is the third type of why. Uh, I have another story. Elizabeth, Carlos' wife, right now she's Royal Diamond. He's Premier Diamond and her income is like four times his. Wow. But at the beginning, she didn't want to do that myself. But uh, normally, they, they were a couple where he used to go to work every day. He was very successful in sales. He worked for an insurance company. And here she stayed at home with the kids. And she used to be very sad because normally uh, that company events, they didn't invite her to the events, to the gala parties and all that stuff they do. They only invite him. So he was like the important uh, person of the family. So when he started on Gun Excel, he said like, let's go, mi amor. Let's go to the Open. Let's go to the Leadership Academy. And she was like, seriously? Can I go? Can I go with you? <coughs> so at the beginning, she told us that the only the only reason she had, I mean, she loved the product and it helped with the disease of dermatitis. And the, the main reason she had to do Gano Excel, it was in order to do an activity with her husband. Because they didn't uh, spend like uh, too many time together. So that's an alternative one. So normally when you have couples, you can use this. You can use this. Um, when I start working with a couple, I always start looking around for these intangible wise. And it is easier to work with both than with one. You, it will not always be like that, but if you realize to gather them here, you will have a reason less in order to worry because Normally, if the wife or the couple does not agree with the project, it's, it's more difficult. Mm -hmm. So in the case of Elizabeth, she said that during the first month, she didn't solve the mission, she didn't connect to Gano Excel, she liked the growth, she didn't like the business at all, she, she thought that everyone was crazy about money, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but she, she kept on going to the events and the coffee breaks and the meetings because she was with her husband and she started like, feeling important because as she liked a lot of the product, she's a whale, the team started asking her to do trainings about the product, to uh, explain the product to other people. And she started like having a role in a team where she had like, I don't know, 10 years without working because she was with the kids. So that was a successful case where a leader, who is Juan Pablo Pineda, who is the sponsor of Carlos Rueda, he identified the wife of a wife. And now they, they are a premier and royal diamond couple.
So it is very important for you to identify the why of your team, of your prospect. Because if he connects with the why, he will never leave the company. Because what it's, what, what it's true is that you are not here, and we all need to understand that. You don't do Gano Excel for Gano Excel. You do Gano Excel for your why, in order to uh, solve your why. So you need to be clear about that. When I started the business, it was very difficult to me because as I told you before, I was not used to rejection. I had good grades in high school. I have uh, scholarships. I have summa cum laude medal. I had all this stuff. It was really easy to me, like to grow in a company. Everything was perfect. And then I started in Garo Excel, no, 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 no. <laughs> and I was like, what is wrong with me? I thought I had something wrong. <laughs> So, but I realized that I have these three, like, paths in order to have time and freedom in my life. And the first tough time, it was like, uh, how do you say pension, retirement? Pension. 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 And I had 25 years old, five years ago. Mm -hmm. So I had to work like for 40 years yes. more in well. order to have it. Wow. And then I had this other path, which was like to create my own company. And you can create your own company, that's not the problem, but in my case, my father, he have had his company for 20 years, and yesterday he woke up 4 a.m. in order to open the company, 20 years after, so that's not freedom. So in order to have a company that works by itself, let's say, I don't know, 30 years or 20 years, being optimist, and then I have 20, 30 years, 40 years, and then in front of me I had network marketing. And even if I didn't like it, it was three to five years. Even if I didn't like it. So here I have all this no, all this rejection and problems and things that I didn't like. But then I have my why that was huge. I mean, time was not going to stop if I stopped doing that myself. I already had to work for 40 years, so I had to clear my why. So this is the first point. The second point is to be product, to be product of the product, and this is the part where we explain Ganoderma to people. I mean, we do not spend like one hour explaining Ganoderma. But we try to make people understand why they should drink or take Ganoderma for the rest of their life. So normally in Colombia, people used to think that Ganoderma is only for ill people. Does it happen here? <laughs> Does it happen? Yes. So when they go to a coffee break or to a product conference, at the end they say, I have an aunt or my grandma or my mom, she has this and this and this and this. <laughs> Does it happen here? Yes. yes. So, uh, with this part of the cycle of success, we try to make people understand that everybody in the house should take Ganoderma from the baby to the elderly people. So, we explain like in an easy way how does Ganoderma work in the body and why do we need to drink or take Ganoderma? So uh, we have found that sometimes when you, you when you explain the product from the scientific explanation, people get bored. When you start talking about the three terpenoids and polysaccharides and free radicals and all these diseases. At the end, people get bored and they start like telling what I said before. I have a, I know, my grandma, my mother, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> so we explain to them like the pollution and all the things that we are exposed today, like in the environment, and how 
uh, nutrition has changed and how all these things we're eating are affecting us uh, in our bodies and our children's health. And we start like talking about how the chronic disease may have increased during the past, I don't know, 20 or 10 years. I mean, diabetes and arthritis, arthritis, cholesterol, it's like normal. It's like to have Facebook. I have diabetes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I love that. It's like normal. How do you say, uh, it's an immune Constipation? Constipation. I mean, if you don't have constipation, you are yeah. the weird one. Yeah. Because. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that happens. So, we start like asking people to realize that all these chronic diseases they have increased in the past 10, 15, or 20 years. And why? It's because our habits they they have changed. And. For example, in Colombia, uh, when we were, when I was little, I used to eat the fruits or the vegetables that our grandfathers they brought from the farm and things like that. Everything was organic. And 30 years ago, we had no this disease. So the main factor that we have all these diseases now is that the uh, waste in the, the way in which the, the fruits and the meat and the vegetables are, I even forgot the word in Spanish. <laughs> uh, the process. Yeah, they were their process or cultivados or harvested. The way they call it. Yeah, change. Because right now what it matters is for the companies is to have an income. It's money. They do not care at all what they are giving to us. <laughs> so I have read I have read a study of the OMS, Organización Mundial de la Salud, yes. That they did some study in five years old in a children in a kindergarten. Uh, they took a P test and they found pesticides. Yes. A high percent of the children, children. So we had like the opportunity to eat this all organic food when we were young, but our child, they are not even having this opportunity. So we don't even know the kind of disease they will have when they get older. So what's the normal day of a person? They wake up, they take a shower. So you took your shampoo. And then you have parabens and aluminium mm -hmm. and the soap, all this. Yeah. 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 And in the water you also have um, chlorine. Yes. Sometimes. Chlorine. And then you're the other and you have aluminium. And then if you're a woman and you want to like take care of your hair, you do the famous keratin. <laughs> <laughs> And these are all toxins that you're taking into your body. So it is not, um, that's, that's the reason why we are having all these diseases. And then you go out, you go to work, and you have all pollution. And then you have all this technology, and you sleep in your phone next to you, sometimes even in your bed. So, who is exposed to this? Only ill people? No. Who is exposed to free radicals? Everyone. Everyone. In Colombia, when you go to the mountains, during the night, you sometimes, I don't know if, if you do it like this here, sometimes you see a lot of lights during the night in the cultivos. How do you say cultivos? From the farms? In the farms, yes. And people used to say, oh, how beautiful, look at the lights. But what? What, what they are doing is that with these lights, they don't even let the plants to rest during night. They want the plants to do photosynthesis during 40, uh, 24 hours. And that's not good. And we are eating all these vegetables. 
And when, when you go to the supermarket, what do you think it happens during night in supermarkets? If they are required to um, fumigate, fumigate the place, where does this product of the fumigation end up? In the food. And then it's like eat. So, I don't know if you've gone to an organic market, but in Cartagena, in, Col in Colombia, if you go to an organic market, you buy two stuff, $60. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, families, they cannot afford to eat organic. Not all families can afford to eat organic. And then the chicken and the meat, yes. if we talk about that. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. Yeah. So, all this pollution and all these toxins and free radicals, they end up in our cells. We are made of cells. The cells are these tiny little things that we have everywhere in our bodies. <laughs> in our blood, our hair, our bones. They are all made of cells. Do you remember elementary school? The cell. <laughs> you have the membrana cellular. How do you say it in English? Mm -hmm. Membrane, cell membrane. And the nucleo? Where is the DNA? And then here you have a little factory with the breathing, the cell breathing take place called mitochondria. Mitochondria also in English, okay. So, what does the free radical or the toxins that comes from the food, from the pollution, from the cell phone, from the paraben, from the aluminum, from the water? These free radicals, they come to your cell and they stick here in the membrane. And since they are unstable molecules, they want to step, stabilize, 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 and to take the molecule that they are missing, or the electron they are missing, from the membrane of your cell. The thing is that when they take it, they start destroying your cell. So if the cell gets ill, the tissue gets ill. And if the tissue gets peeled, the organ gets peeled, and the system gets peeled, and voila, you have it, and voila. And high uh, cancer, and high blood pressure, pressure. So this is this is the way all the, the disease starts, with a cell that got ill because of a free radical destroy the cell membrane. So, What's the only way or the only thing that avoid the free radicals to destroy our cells? Consuming antioxidants. So the OMS, Organización Mundial de la Salud, they recommend to a normal people in order to prevent this to happen in their body to eat an amount of fruits and vegetables because antioxidants, where are the antioxidants in nature? Fruits, vegetables, and mushrooms. Only in the street. So they recommend to eat a quantity of vegetables and fruits in during the whole day, but I mean, I think not even all of us together <laughs> the quantity they recommend. <laughs> I mean, it's like a ponchera, <laughs> for sure. So, what's the best answer that the science has discovered till today in order to affront this problem? It is called Ganoderma lucidum. That's right. Because it had 154 antioxidants. So you can give to your body the quantity of antioxidant that you are not eating in fruits and vegetables. And the thing is, even if you eat fruits and vegetables, they are polluted. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's why we need to consume Ganoderma, because it will avoid this process to happen in your body. And if the cell is already ill, Ganoderma will help you to heal the cell to regenerate the cell.
But if you are healthy people, this will never take place on your body. So in other words, you will never have cancer. You will never have diabetes or high blood pressure, even if you have uh, that on the DNA of your family. Because the process will never happen. So this is not, this is mathematical. Yes. If you have free radicals, of course, if you have good habits, you do some uh, sports and you eat well, it will be better. But Ganoderma is like the answer to this problem. So, who needs to take Ganoderma in the family? <laughs> Just the people? And what's the amount of Ganoderma we need to consume? Unlimited. Unlimited. Industrial quantity, as we said. Cantidad industrial. Industrial quantity. It's never enough, because this is always happening in our bodies. So normally, when we get to this point in the explanation of the successive cycle, people should have this face. And if you see people have this face, you're doing good. <laughs> if they are stressed, you're doing good. <laughs> That's the objective. <laughs> That's the objective. To scare them. Yeah. Yes. Because this is true. Okay. So which are the the um, pasos? Se me olvida a veces hasta como se dice. Like the process. Uh huh. The stages of Ganoderma in your body. So first you have the exploration. Sometimes people ask, how does Ganoderma know that I'm ill uh, on my knee? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In the same way the Dalits or Ibuprofen knows that it's headache and not cramps. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say the, the silent note. I have a headache. Don't get it. It's a headache. <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, they know because where you're ill, you have a lot of negative charge. And Ganoderma is positive charge, so they attract. That's why. But normally, erizos, they ask them, how does Ganoderma know that? <laughs> you know, it's like, you don't ask how Tylenol does it. So, uh, exploration is the first stage. And the second stage is detox. detox. <laughs> so it's important to explain people that they may have uh, these detoxification symptoms, detox symptoms, which are completely normal. I mean, when you take uh, purgante, I don't know how to say that in English, I think to clean yourself, your body. Parts. Uh, yeah. go lightly. Yeah, but when you take these medicines, <laughs> 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 you never... I work in yellow, but it's, it's white. It's like That's water. For Dante, it's something to clean your body. And we, in Colombia, in Colombia we say, when you, when you take a, a for Dante, you never say that this pill uh, tastes so mal, make you bad. I mean, it did the work. It was for that. <laughs> I mean, if, if only with a sachet or with a cup of 3 on 1 person goes to the toilet or starts sweating or something, it's because they have a lot of toxins on their body that Ganoderma start work, work, working only with one uh, cup or doses. So we need to know that. Because if we, if we don't know that, we will be in panic also with the prospect. <laughs> so you need to uh, be able to tell your team or the prospect it is completely normal. It is working on you. Drink lots of water. Why? Because if you are cleaning this room, <coughs> it's easier if you have a lot of soap on the floor. If you drink water, it is easier to take out all the soap that without water. So that's why it is important to take Ganoderma with water because toxins will, will go out from our body 
easier, faster. So the, this is the second stage. The third stage is regulation, and it goes from the first months to the first year. And this is the stage where you will see like visible changes on your health. So normally it's in the first year where, we, where you start like having all these good experiences in allergies or dermatitis. And people used to say, I used to have that and I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm good now, blah, blah, blah. But we need to know that the Ganoderma in Asia, it is known as the elixir de la juventud, the elixir of life. Of life, yeah. It's because the fourth and the fifth stage of Ganoderma. So the benefits we start having after one, two, or three years, depending on your body. And the thing is that when this cell is healed, the cells are in constant reproduction and multiplication. So if this cell was ill and Ganoderma helped to heal it, it would produce a good cell. And a good cell would produce another good cell because the DNA starts changing. So after all this time, you will have a new tissue. And after all this time, you have a new organ. You have a new liver, a new kidney, a new tissue on your stomach. That's why some people, they used to have ulcera and all this stuff in the stomach, and then they do the test, and the doctor say, but you have nothing. And that happens in the fourth stage. And in the fifth stage, since cells are already healed, the Ganoderma will use all this power to maintain. I mean, if we come here and the room is already clean, we use all our effort to keep it clean, to detox and to eliminate all the free radicals. So we also explain to the people the difference between Ganoderma and Ganoxal Ganoderma. So Mr. Leao, he basically solved three problems that Ganoderma had. Ganoderma had a problem of selection because there were 200 species and some of them they were even uh, venenosas or poisonous. <laughs> 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 So, uh, several years ago, the only way they had to know that they, that was the kind uh, type of Ganoderma, it was by proving it. If it, the person died, it wasn't. So they had a selection problem. <laughs> so Mr. Leal, during all these years of investigation, he, he he said to the world, okay, stop. These six are the most powerful types of Ganoderma. So he did a, uh, an inherit of the six types of Ganoderma in one, and that's the Ganoderma that grows in Ganoisal Farmima. So this was how he solved the first problem. The second problem was the problem of um, multiplication or scarcity, let's say. Ganoderma only grow in the mountains. in the mountains in Malaysia. That's why it was very expensive. So if Mr. Rea wanted to take Ganoderma to the world, he only could do it if it was not that expensive. So how do you solve uh, the cost problem? Having a massive process, massification, get cost low, down, or low. So he does it, he, he did it. And the third and most important problem was the problem of um, solubility. Solubility problem. Even if the Ganoderma was good, good 
doesn't mean unlimited. Because all things from nature, they have a limit. I have a cousin that did the pineapple diet, and she ended up at the hospital. Because even if, if it's pineapple, you, you cannot have unlimited pineapple. Because it has um, toxins that they get in your liver, and you, have, you can have a, a intoxication or cirrhosis. So even cirrhosis, yes. Wow. Wow. So Ganoderma is a mushroom. So it, as a mushroom, it has good things and bad things. So that's why it is not unlimited. So this is the main difference we have with another companies. That Mr. Leao spent almost 30 years to come up with an extract where he completely divides like the molecular composition of Ganoderma, taking out the bad from the good, and just giving us the good. Wow. That's why it's unlimited. Wow, that's huge. Wow. So, they used to say, ah, oh, but my product, they have more Ganoderma than yours. Yeah, that's why, because we have an extra concentrate. You need more quantity of Ganoderma powder in order to have 10% of the effect of our Ganoderma. That's the main difference. And as leaders, we need, to, we need to know how to explain the difference. Because in my case, I'm not willing to share a product with people that I know that it risks their health, because it is not unlimited. Ganoderma powder can uh, cause cirrhosis after the years. So that's a huge problem because if you have a network of 5,000 people, you cannot be like praying every day, oh God, please, people just to drink three cups per day, please. Because otherwise they will get ill. No. And we can be sure that our Ganoderma has like the best quality. So he came up with a formula that makes Ganoderma soluble in water, in oil, and alcohol. So why? In Colombia, uh, they used to ask if Ganoderma is soluble in alcohol because they will uh, do Guaroderma. <laughs> water is the hard code because water, so they ask, they always ask the expression, but no. Ganoderma is soluble in water because our body is made 80% of water. So as it is 100% soluble in water, it will never get accumulate in our in the filter organs like the liver, kidney, or vesicula. So it will never we will never have toxins been uh, accumulating there because it sold it is absorbed a hundred percent so then the Ganoderma it gets to the cells so why it is important the Ganoderma to be soluble in uh, oil because the membrane of our cells are made or something called phospholipids which are oil so Ganoderma needs to be soluble on oil in order to get through the membrane. Otherwise, we couldn't. We cannot do it. So, I'm telling you here also that the other Ganoderma, they don't do this. <laughs> so, he gets through the membrane, and what's inside the cell? The DNA. The DNA. So, he starts working inside the cell. So, that's very important because this is why the regeneration process can take place, because he works inside the cell. So that's another main difference from our product in comparison to products from another company. And the third, uh, solubility is in alcohol. And it's because there are some organs in our bodies that produce some polyalcohols. So what is amazing is that Ganoderma, they it doesn't lose properties in front or in, in presence of alcohol. And I have a friend who is a biologo, a bio, biochemist. Bio, yes. 
and he 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 told me that it's very difficult to produce a molecule that that doesn't change uh, the composition in front of the alcohol because normally everything changes the composition in the presence of alcohol. So he told me that what Mr. Leal did is really amazing, science-wise. So uh, after the explanation of the product, we explain each one of the vehicles. In Colombia, we explain the cereal and how spiruline is important for the body, and we also explain the properties of coffee because normally people they are like afraid to drink coffee because coffee is known for being bad for health. So we explain to people that uh, coffee, uh, the coffee they get in the cafeterias, they are um, the caffeine concentration is. 12 milligrams of caffeine per ounce, how do you say ounce? Ounce. ounce. And Ganoderma coffee is just one milligram of caffeine per ounce. So you will need to take 12 of this one in order to uh, be compared with the one you can buy in Starbucks. So that's why even a child can take the Ganoderma one or classic and because the, the amount it's not decaf, because in order to be decaf, you need to perform a, a, cream, uh, a process to the coffee, which is not uh, natural. The coffee is not decaf. It's just that the quantity of caffeine that it has is really, really low. And the grain that they use to, um, to make the coffee is a very high quality premium coffee of young tree, and it is important to be of a young tree because I don't know if he, when you were uh, younger you used to go to the farm, but normally your grandmother or grandfather used to tell you don't eat from that tree because it's old. <laughs> <laughs> because with the grain it, co it comes from an old uh, tree, it has, I don't know, things that are not good for health, I don't know which things, but <laughs> it is important for us that the coffee is from a young tree of coffee. And we also explain the, the difference between the, the two types of uh, capsules. In Colombia we have uh, Ganoderma, Anexelium and also Cortigol. So we explain to people that Ganoderma is like the army. If you want to win the war, you will need an army. But you also have the francotiradores. How do you say francotiradores? The uh, snipers. The marines. <laughs> the marines. <laughs> snipers. The snipers. The snipers. Yeah, the snipers. <laughs> Can you win the war? Special only? forces. Special forces. Can you win the war only with the snipers? No. 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 You will need the army. Yes. So if you have to decide between Ganoderma and Excelium, which one should you take? Both. Both. Always both. But maybe if you economic capability, uh, maybe here that's not a problem. But in Colombia, sometimes people they have to decide between both castles. So it is always important to uh, es uh, explain to the people that Ganoderma will work through your whole body, and Excelium will go straight to a specific system like. Uh, nervioso, nervioso, sistema nervioso, circulatorio, like the fluids of your body. And then you have the cortisol. Do you have cortisol here? No. no? Cordyceps. Cordyceps? Cordyceps, it works on microcirculation. So the organs that work with microcirculation are your uh, brain, your lungs, and then el aparato reproductor masculino and feminino. The reproductive organs. The, it, it works for um, microcirculation. So, if you want, if you want to win the war, you will need the three things: the army and the special forces and the snipers. Yes, but, if you, but you can also win the war just with the army. But you cannot win the war just with the special forces or the escapers. So uh, the marriage between the three, it will be always the best option. But yes. if you need to decide, take the Ganoderma. Unless the person had 
something specific with the, I don't know, Parkinson or something specific with the disease or something he wants to treat specific. So we, so we using this difference and I think that's it. At the end of the second part of the cycle of success, we ask three or four people to share their experiences with the product. So this is the second uh, point of the cycle of success. And the third <coughs> point is to create your list. I mean, we only succeed in Gano Excel if we put this Gano Dharma that we have already explained into people. But in order to do that, we need to know that all persons are different and you cannot use the same method to get that per the person who wants to consume one of them. So you need to be adaptable, chameleonic, and to qualify your list. And here I will start talking about the animals again. <laughs> you did a good job explaining the cell. I was brilliant. You're the first person I've ever seen do that. How she explained the cell, but, and, and most people don't understand the gonoderma lucidum and the products help rebuild the cell. Mm -hmm. I love that. I'm an engineer. <laughs> 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 I'm thinking you're a school teacher. Are there doctors here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to talk about the cell and the cell lucidum. Okay. Okay. So, the third, the third point is to create your list, and then you need to qualify your list regarding four characters, which are the first one are the sharks. So, how is a shark? See? He's always lonely, he's not, yes. never in groups. Uh -uh. So we all have friends that are sharks. Mm -hmm. We have friends that they love business, <coughs> that they uh, they don't matter to lose. They love like playing the game win-lose. They are self-confident. They don't need the, the um, approbation of a third person in order to start in business. They make fast decisions. Uh, in Spanish, we say al grano, yes. straight, to straight, to straight to the point. Straight to the point. They are always in a rush. Mm -hmm. I have to go. <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> show me the incomes. I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you show the opportunity to a shark? Alone or with a big group? Alone. Because he likes to feel important. <laughs> or maybe in a small group like this, I mean, but not in a big meeting because he will get bored. So if you are presenting the opportunity to a shark, will you give the speech I just gave about none of them? No. No. <laughs> no. He'll walk away. <laughs> Show him the money. Show him the money. Show him the revenue. Numbers. The numbers. That's what he wants to know. Afterwards, you will enroll it in Ganoderma, but not during the, pre the first presentation. Exactly. Wow. So sometimes I, 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 um, I present to the sharks even without the tools. And people in my team, they they are like, oh, they present without the presentation, Sabrina, do you use the presentation? The presentation. They're like, oh. <laughs> and I said, if I, if I tell to a shark, this is our company, and this is what we are doing, and we are getting uh, revenues, uh, regalias, how do you say, basic incomes, mm -hmm. for uh, building a market of consumption of healthy coffee and we have to buy a thousand dollars in products and then start connecting people to the company. Mm -hmm. Normally you will receive uh, 150 pesos, it's about I don't know, 50 cents per cup for the rest of your life. Did I perform napkin presentation or not? Yeah, I did. 
If I have the time, I can, if you start like making questions, I use the napkin presentation. But sometimes they are in a rush. Uh, three months ago, I was in my apartment in Barranquilla, and a new associate, he came with a friend, and he told me, he's a shark. <laughs> so he, he sat on the sofa and he was like, okay, come with me, come with me. I need to go in 10 minutes. <laughs> and some people, they sound like saying, oh no, if you have no time uh, to give the importance, to listen the opportunity, then we should set a second appointment. Like, no, in 10 minutes, I said what I have told you right now and at the end he said okay i will transfer you the thousand dollars and and let's start tomorrow and do oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> three months later they consume gun of them every day her wife she had a, a skin problem and she's super happy with the product and they are consuming gun of them they are in low competition but in the first meeting he was a shark so I need to treat him as a shark. So for sharks, always use numbers and results and go straight to the point. The second kind of character are dolphins. Happy go lucky, yes, but you know dolphins. They are always happy. They are always talking to people. They have thousands of followers on Instagram, Facebook. If you go out with them, they will meet. They will know everybody. They will know someone exactly. After coffee breaks or after events, they are always asking, "What are we going to do? After what are we doing? It's a party. Let's go to the movies." <laughs> if they come to a, to an event. Uh, after the presentation, if you ask him, how was the business? I don't know. But <laughs> Olga was there. And Jesus was there. It was really funny. But the business, the numbers. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> that person and that person was there. And they were super funny. I like the group. <laughs> the coffee is good. So they like to belong. So what's the perfect scenario to invite to a dog? Party. A coffee break, mm -hmm. break no. with my team yeah. because they have a need to belong. So I use all this good energy that I have with my team in order to close dolphins. They feel attracted to the to belong. They won't understand the business in the first meeting. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> So this is the second, uh, they also love the events. With lots of people, they love it. Maybe not as the first appointment, but as the second of, uh, or third appointment, they really love. I do not really recommend the event um, as a first appointment for the, maybe for whales. They, they like, like, or, or maybe they have already know something about network marketing before. But I always recommend the one-to-one -one or the coffee break before the, 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 to take people to a big event. <coughs> I mean, that's not a rule. I don't want you to say afterward that I don't said that we should not. <laughs> it has worked for some people. I mean, you also need to have this special, I don't know, like feelings as an entrepreneur that sometimes tell you, take it, I have to believe in it. It works, but sometimes, yeah. I mean, it's not a rule, it's not white to work. Right? Yeah. And then you have the whales. <coughs> How is the whale? Nice. She's nice. Sharing. She's low. Sharing. She likes sharing, community, helping people. She loves the boat. So do you invite the whale to a compensation for an explanation? No. <laughs> she will get bored. Uh, like six months ago, a person started, uh, she paid the SP3 
And after the presentation, uh, the guy told me, you know, I listened to this business like three years ago, but they only talked to me about money. Mm -hmm. And now that you explained to me the problem, I realized that this is a really good project and I can help people and I will pay the SP3 because I need lots of products because I have a huge family. Wow. <laughs> because the person that contacted him before didn't uh, detect that he was aware that he needed a deeper explanation of the product during the presentation. Wales also loves groups and events. They are always taking care of people. Did you already eat? Are people already eat? That person didn't came today. Why didn't Kate? He didn't came today. Let's call him. So the shark, he doesn't care about people. <laughs> he gets upset because people eat. They are not as fast as him, like enrolling and signing people. <laughs> But the whales, they are very good. Actually, if you want to be a royal diver, you need lots of whales mm -hmm. in your team because they gather persons. They do pegamento, what do you say? Stick. Yeah, good. Yeah. To stick to the group. Pegamento, to stay together. So you need lots of this profile. They are, they are really, really important. We do a lot of bullying to whales, but actually they are really, really important for the groups. And the last one, what was the name of the last one? Erizo. 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 So, these people, they love that. They do not trust easily. <laughs> So do not try to convince them. Never take this character to a huge event or a huge coffee break. It's better one-to-one -one for them. And these people, when they get enrolled into the team, they are very good to enroll other other oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have a real life to say this. So yeah, they are very good they are very good to explain compensation plan mm -hmm. and to do all these calculations with the numbers and blah blah blah. So formation. Normally after this explanation of the third point, all the guests in the meeting they start asking the people who invite them, who I am? Who I am? <laughs> and it is really funny. <laughs> None of them. They really love this. Oh, which one am I? Which one am I? <laughs> which one am I? <laughs> I'm a whale, I'm a shark. So this is the third one. So the fourth point of the cycle of success is to present the opportunity, and I've already talked about this. You can present the opportunity in one-to-one -one or coffee break. So you organize your agenda with your team weekly. You set up your coffee breaks, for example, two coffee breaks, Thursday and Friday. And then you have the rest of the week for spaces for one-to-one. -one. So as we all know this. We all know that we take the whales and the dolphins to the coffee and also the follow-ups because you can take a shark in follow-up also to a coffee break. And then if you have a space for one-to-one, -one, we book there this and this. And then if we have an event, uh, for example, mm -hmm. at the open on Wednesday, we take the least of the presentations we did last week and this week, and we take all these follow-ups to the open. And then we have, I don't know if you have here Leadership Academy, or but normally we also plan the Leadership Academy, uh, or, or the event we had yesterday. I know you have it every two months. Okay. You see? So you plan, if you have this event, you plan it with your team 
how many people are, are we going to take to this event, which is the profile of the person which is coming to the uh, who's coming to the event. So maybe if the person has a corporate profile, I can invite this, 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 this and this friend of mine. So we, we do all this planning. And the fourth, uh, the fifth, is to use the tools. And normally in this step, we explain to people that the tools make us free in business. And normally during this step, I used to uh, show a video uh, of the company or a video of the story of success of a diamond, which is very short, like five minutes. So I tell people we have all these tools in order to you to close business with another people. For example, in Colombia we have the testimony of William Zuluaga that is an executive diamond. I think he was here yeah. last yeah. year. Uh, and he, his story is really nice because uh, before that I sell, he used to sell like things on public transportation in Colombia. Mm -hmm. And last year I was in a coffee break with a lot of high profile people that work on construction. And the, the person that organized the coffee break, he also invited one of the obreros. How do you say obrero? De la construction. Construction workers. A construction worker. So he felt like weird because they were all like entrepreneurs and high profile people and he was like different. So at the end of the coffee break, I asked him to come with me I played the video of William Zuluaga, and five minutes later he starts like relaxing and doing like this. <laughs> and at the end of the video, he told me, "Oh, this is really nice that this guy could achieve success with Dan and so I can do it as well. I have a thousand dollars on my house. Can I go and and and, and be by in one hour in order wow. to uh, <laughs> to pay?" Yeah. And it was like, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, people pay every day. Every hour. <laughs> That's normal. <laughs> exactly. And it was not because of me or because the rest of the people that were on the copyright. It was because we used the tool. So we should use this tool. So in this part, normally we, we, we show uh, people a short video or tool or maybe we show them the, the booklet or the magazine. And the last last point of the uh, success cycle is the personal growth and in this part I normally explain that for me this is the most important thing that I have learned in Gano Excel. This is an intangible asset but the personal growth that you will have here it will make you not only a diamond of success in Ghana itself, it will make you a diamond of success in life. You will be a better father, husband, uh, employee, entrepreneur, because the Oriental or Asian uh, way of doing business is quite different from the Occident way of doing business. They care a lot about personal growth. So as a company, we have seven values, which are integrity, excellence, leadership, innovation, I don't remember the others. <laughs> but you will start developing all these seven values in your life. So that will make you a successful person, not only here. We have lots of cases in Colombia, that lots of diamonds, that they are having success in another business that they have started with the incomes that they had from Gano Excel. We have Royal Diamond David Eron, which has launched last year uh, um, a musical career. And he has sponsored himself <laughs> because he's a Royal Diamond. And it's really difficult to be. Um, to, to have a sponsor when when you want to be singer or reggaeton and all that stuff because they, there are a lot of people wanting to do that. 
and we also have diamonds they are investing in construction and we have all these diamonds in Medellin that they are all uh, building uh, a building <laughs> <laughs> yeah and that's really nice because they are doing investment but that's because they have growth so this is the most important thing that you will receive with the investment investment you made years ago. Mm. So never miss the opportunity to go to a convention, to a training, because that will make you successful in life. So these are the six points of the cycle of success. And normally, after this kind of trainings, the people who are in follow-up, they lose fear because they start knowing, knowing that there is a path that they can follow because everybody can define a why, consume the product and share it, to make a list, to qualify this list, to organize an agenda, to qualify all the people they know regarding these profiles, and to start using the tools and growing as a person. So many thanks. And I really hope that uh, this uh, is enriching to you and that you can like continue to perform this space to share it with more people. For us, it has been really useful in Colombia to do these kind of spaces. We, we have lots of new people in Gibson and we have lots of follow-ups. So thank you.